Hi guys, Shamian here from Food by Shamian. I am going to Trinidad and Tobago to serve a phone for you all. It was requested multiple times and I'm happy to cover it. So I'm going to start by calling out the ingredients, measured ingredients that you will need for this demo, okay? You will need, I would say, approximately five cups of grated cassava, one and a half cup to two cups of uh, grated coconut. That's, this is it here, this is what it looks like. Okay, you wanna keep, you will need one cup, sorry, of uh, brown sugar. Some persons might wanna use white sugar, that's okay. You will need uh, 14 ounces of coconut milk. Well, the liquid that's gonna come out, we, you see we do things are different, in the Caribbean. So, in Trinidad and Tobago, we usually will get the milk from this and still have the meat remaining as we call it internationally or the husk here, okay? The, that's, you know, that's shredded in the bone there or grated. So you will need, like I said, 14 ounces. You need to measure it of the coconut milk from your coconut. You will need uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon or spice, uh, one teaspoon or half, I'm going to use half of uh, salt, so half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of grated nutmeg, you will need one teaspoon of uh, minced ginger, two teaspoons of vanilla extracts, and you know, some persons, let me say now, some persons they have a lot of recipes for corn, and believe it or not guys, I am just the messenger, they put black pepper in it. Believe it or not, it might sound somewhat crazy. Like I always said, everybody who takes it for your pay, but I just needed to cover that. And some persons, uh, if that's even uh, probably Caribbean nations that know about it, they might even put like raisins and so forth in it. Okay, I just needed to cover that for you or before I go further. Porn is literally a one dish thing, if you will. Right, so you go back and you listen to everything that I called out, and you will. I am going to use essence from an essence house locally here in Trinidad. We don't get a uh, pack like brown sugar. I said this in a number of demos, but I don't take for granted that's probably my first demo you'll be watching. So, this is what our brown sugar looks like it's very dry, okay. Just so I'll show you all some clean uh, brown sugar. Sometimes it's a lot more darker than I believe it or not, okay? So I'm going to get straight into things now. I already have my bowl there. Some of you might be concerned and might be thinking, Shamion, I didn't hear you say flour at all. Yeah, it might sound like it's a bit wet, but that's just the way it is, okay? I already have my cassava in here. I'm just going to pulse it. You won't be hearing me, and then I'm going to get everything into my bowl and show you all, okay? <laughs> So right there is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I've heard persons that live internationally say they use, okay, I, I keep saying cassava, but when I'm saying cassava, I believe I'm only speaking to my fellow Trinidadians. If you live internationally, this the, the name for this, one of the names is Brazilian Arun. Some nations might know it as Yucca. Okay, I needed to say that because I, I remember I am not uh, just native to Trinidad. When you have YouTube channel and so forth, you reach the uh, world, so to speak. It's an international platform and settings. So I'm just going to get uh, my spatula that I have reserved specially for things like these. Already have my bowl. I said I'm going to start by adding my, my coconut first. You might be even thinking, I didn't hear you say uh, anything about rising agents yes you are correct also if you already made that observation very correct at that always reserve a spatula for the dessert making or baking okay you don't want cross flavors in there so i'm just going to add now my uh there's variations of cones okay don't mix up cassava cone with other cones a lot of times some of the cones calls for uh pumpkins and the like pumpkin and the likes okay but this is cassava corn, so the only thing you really see other than the cassava going inside up here is the uh, coconut. The texture of the cassava is very nice. I'm going to just show you all. This is what we have. This is what you want to have, okay? I 
know some modern folks might be thinking, I don't want to stand and peel cassava, I don't. But it, it's more economical and so forth when you buy it, you know, at the fresh produce markets. When you compare the prices, what it's sold for frozen at the supermarket to what you can get it for in a natural state, you will see the great advantage when you buy it at the fresh produce markets. Those of you that live in the national, you won't can't help it because you may not get it at all, depending on the nation you live in, to buy, uh, to purchase in its root form that we will get it here. I know it have some supermarkets, high-end ones that sell the, I don't believe in those things, so I'm just speaking, that sell, have the, uh, the, the grated coconut for sale, believe it or not. I don't believe in those things. You all know I like food as fresh as possible, ingredients as fresh as possible. You know, none of us knows how long those things been sitting there for. I'm going to get in my sugar. You all know I always say add your dry ingredients first, followed by all your wet. I'm going to add my uh, ginger. I don't like, you all hear me say I don't like uh, grated ginger. You know, it's certain already looking like pet here in there. Yeah, I don't like it for that reason. I won't be adding black pepper, right? Even though I spoke and I told you all that some persons have black pepper, I won't be doing that whatsoever. I just like to cover the different ways and techniques of doing these things for you. And when you think about it, it's not really too far-fetched because take into consideration the way ginger tastes. It's, it's somewhat heated. So it's not too far-fetched. That was the salt that went in there. I'm going to add the spices now. Excuse me. I'm going to add the four tablespoons of butter followed by my uh, coconut, okay? Tablespoons. You want to use this. Melted butter, please. Two. Three. Four. And there we go, with the fifth one. Followed by my coconut milk, my extract, and that's all. We need the tournament. I have my extract. This is from an essence house. You all know how I feel about that. Ask for the clear essence, even though the pool will get dark. It's better you have the clear on hand, you know. Just take your time and give it a good mix in. Still, no fancy gadget, just a spatula. Or whisk if you have one. And as simple as that, it smells just so good, so lovely. To the vanilla extract from the Essence House, this, the fragrance is amazing. Remember, I always, remember I always tell you all that it's a lot more uh, concentrate. Concentrated and we want to sold at the supermarket, okay? And guys, believe it or not, don't ever leave um, stuff sitting in your bones and such. Eh? I'm right here, so I, I did that. Take out whatever you are using, whatever utensils on. You want to practice safety in your kitchens, okay? So I'm just going to, here is my dish. My baking dish, I have some on beach parchment paper. You all know I always speak about baking with parchment. And I'm going to get it down in my baking dish. I already sprayed the sides with some non-stick cooking spray. I already did that. So it's done to bake. It's just easy to, to put cone, to serve a cone of that together. You all saw the size dish that my own gave me. I want to say now that I don't really like to speak on oven temperatures and setting and so forth. But I always say whatever is midway on your oven, use put your settings exactly there. Okay? Also, don't ever put anything to the lower rack of your oven, meaning the floor of your oven. Put it always in the middle of the upper rack and you want to pay close attention to it. Uh, you see, because those things will vary by the age and model of your oven and the technology associated with your oven also by how your oven how efficient your oven is okay so that's why i don't speak on those things but go i will say go with midway uh settings medium settings on your oven as always a safe place i and others will always suggest 
I and others will always suggest certain temperatures and so forth, but believe it or not, some persons are already very comfortable with a particular setting on their uh, uh, oven and they will stick to it. I like to be real, okay? So you are going to keep watching as I show you all the texture of this cassava food. So guys, the cone or cassava cone is finished baking. Uh, the texture is very nice and gooey. The top, uh, it, you are just seeing my the bits of cassava and coconut at the top. Okay, believe it or not, in some nations you may put like uh, an icing or so at the top or probably a frosting and toasted coconut and things like that. Okay, remember we in Trinidad we did things one way but let's keep an open mind with food and remember that you know a lot of times uh, other countries or nations have these same things with different names probably and a bit different ingredients but it's more or less one in the same okay but there you see that lovely coconut coming through the taste of the ginger is just beautiful in there and it's just gorgeous the bottom the parchment paper when you're not finished baking you know Oh, please leave it to cool down. The ingredients that I use, the measured ingredients, it fits a uh, 10 inch, sorry, an 11 inch uh, baking dish. You'll remember the dish, so it's like, if you want to know, it's an 11 inch baking dish. And you also the depth of the dish also. So I just thought I'll uh, cover that for you all. Also, if you might want it a bit sweeter, let's keep in mind baking as a sand or formula. If you make one of move it's rapid descent, it's downhill at an alarming rate. If you want it somewhat sweeter, um, use a half cup additional sugar. Okay, but key factors in mind like when things when they are hot or warm, you don't taste the sugar, but when it drops in temperature and comes somewhat like room temperature, uh, the taste of the sugar is uh, more prevalent for lack of a better word than when it's hot or warm guys it was my pleasure you all know food like Shamian we are all over social media uh, we are on Facebook we are on Instagram we have the YouTube channel uh, all under one name food by Shamian we have a, webs a website address is www.foodbyshamian.com we have a board on Pinterest you'll have to look for me Shamian Williams and then you'll see our board food by Shamian also, we have an email address for the business, which is foodbyshamion at gmail.com. Use all common letters when you're trying to access the email address. Guys, I thank you all for all your amazing love and support. The pleasure of doing this was my own. Until I'm with you all, thanks for watching and bye.